This is the non-electric Biolet composting toilet. It looks pretty much like a regular toilet. There's a cap that's left in place when the toilet is not in use to ensure the compost does not dry out. For aesthetic reasons, you can see that until you sit down in the seat, the compost is hidden below. It comes in two pieces. The top is completely removable to allow you access to the inside of the toilet. It comes with these two plastic buckets, so when one is full, you can simply remove it and replace it with the other one. The bucket has holes in the bottom to allow any excess moisture to move through the compost pile into the interior of the toilet and out the drain. Here's the interior of the toilet and you can see the drain in the back. A piece of flexible tubing will be attached to the drain, run through a hole in the floor and out to a leach pit underneath the shed. The leach pit can be filled with sand and or gravel, and in this particular installation, they took a galvanized steel bucket, poked holes in the bottom, filled it with gravel, and set it below grade. The white PVC piping here flows into the leach pit and then runs back up toward the bottom of the shed, where it will eventually connect with that piece of flexible tubing to drain off excess moisture from the composting toilet. The toilet also needs to be vented for proper operation. This length of PVC piping runs from the toilet up to the ceiling and then there are two other insulated black pieces of PVC that will sit above the roof line. The upper one contains a mesh to keep out debris and bugs. So these two pieces of insulated piping fit together and sit above the roof line. The insulated pipe allows natural convection to keep air moving through the toilet to eliminate odors. Finally, this rubber gasket is slid down over the black PVC piping above the roof line and sealed with caulk to keep out moisture so the system works properly. Hopefully this toilet will be a welcome addition to our community garden.